happy Sabbath and welcome into a new week and welcome into a new week in our podcast series entitled Choose to Live. This week we're talking about how we can choose to live prayerfully. And that of course is on the heels of last week where we talked about how we need to choose to live in congruence, to choose to live authentically. And with the paradigm that really kind of drove the week, we talked about relationship identity mission, right? Our relationship with God's first and foremost, that's what informs our identity. From there, we receive the mission. And if our relationship with God is more important than anything else, then of course this week, we want to help you with that. We want to talk about how we can choose to live prayerfully. And so if it's been a little while since you have taken a long look at your prayer life, Or if it's been a little while since you've learned about prayer, I just want to encourage you to be where you are. First thing that I want to encourage us this week is we have to start where we are. God loves you way too much to expect you to be somewhere that you're not. And he loves you way too much to leave you where you are, right? But God's going to always meet us there and then draw us closer to him. And our conversation about prayer has to start with where we are. But it's okay for us to learn about prayer. In fact, that's where we're going this weekend at Christ Redeemer. We continue our preaching series. It's entitled The Way, which is the most ancient description for being a disciple. St. Paul used to describe the followers of Jesus. He used to describe disciples as those who were living the way. God has a way that he wants us to live. He has a way that he wants to teach us. And the way that he wants to teach us is by being a disciple. The word disciple simply means a student, to be discipled by another. Disciples in the Bible were those who learned from the master, who taught what the master taught, and who lived like the master. Throughout the scriptures, we see lots of people having disciples. John the Baptist had disciples. Others at the time of Jesus who were rabbis had disciples. And Jesus calls his disciples. The word disciple simply means a student. We learn from the master, we then teach what he teaches, and we live like him. And so the very first thing that Jesus would have taught his disciples is how to pray. And if we're going to be a disciple, and if we're going to live like Jesus, then this week we're going to let Jesus teach us how to pray. So I just want to encourage you, that's where we're going this week, and for your homework. I want us to look inside our hearts and just ask us, where are you with your experience of prayer? Where are you in your prayer life? Are you praying at all? Are you praying once a week? Are you praying once a day? How long are you praying? Are you content with your prayer life? Let's just take stock of where we are so we can let the Lord meet us there. Throughout this week, we're going to have some teachings about prayer. And until we see you at Mass or until we continue our teaching on prayer, God bless you.